Maria. Charles. Sarah. Grandma Marin. Yeah. Ian. Gary. Lucas Goddessman. Paige. Melissa. Allison. Archer Dunhill. Mary. Bethany. A.D. or A. Emily Nolcom. Detective Wilden. Sydney. What's her name? Uh, Driscoll. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to do something a little different. This video is coming right after my reaction to the season one finale of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. I thought it would be fun to revisit the original Pretty Little Liars and rank almost, almost every single character that ever appeared in the original series. Now I am ranking characters that have appeared more than once, so two episodes or more, because if I was ranking characters that had appeared in only one episode, then we would all be here until we died, and I don't want that to happen. I have about 80 or so characters, which is a lot. Pretty Little Liars has a huge roster, so I think this is decent. We have a lot to sift through, so get some snacks, get a drink, get some weed, get some alcohol, get whatever you need to relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. Oh, and I do want to say real quick that this is my opinion, and it may not align with your opinion, so please be kind in the comments. If some of the characters that I rank is not where you would rank them, because I can see like two or three of these characters cause controversy where I rank them. So this is my custom made Pretty Little Liars character ranking tier list. We have characters here on the right and then more over here on the left. And for our categories we have the top A amazing, followed by A okay, followed by A annoying, and then A abomination which is slightly more than annoying, right? Because we know some characters that will definitely fall in this category. Go to the top, side to side, instead of like going all the way down, I'm just gonna like do each row, do a row. All right, first off is Bethany Young. She was a mystery character that appeared in season five. I mean, her storyline started in season five. Uh, she killed Toby's mother, so I would say she's an abomination. She's a psycho killer. <laughs> Definitely an abomination. Next up is Emily Fields, one of the main liars. She wasn't the best out of like the main five or six if you include Mona. So I would say she's just below amazing and is a-okay. Alright, next up is Malcolm. Maggie's son. She tricked Ezra into thinking that it was his own child when it wasn't his child. I think I would place him in A-OK. -okay. He wasn't that bad. Jason De Laurentiis. He is A-OK. -okay. All these big bro. All right, next up is Mrs. Fitzgary, as Arya likes to call her. Ezra's mother. I would say she is annoying. She is annoying. She tried to pay off Maggie's baby. She just gets rid of problems by using money and that's not okay. So she's annoying. Next up is Kate, who is Hannah's stepsister, Tom's new stepdaughter. I would say she's annoying. You don't send a picture to yourself and try to get your stepsister into trouble, you bitch. Next up is Liam, who is Arya's love interest after the time jump in season six. I would say he's okay. He's a-okay. He wasn't really that annoying. He didn't kill anyone, but he wasn't like spectacular. So I'm just gonna place him in a-okay. All right, next up is Detective Wilden or Detective Sexy Pants however you look at him. I would say he is annoying because he went after Hannah and Ashley and harassed them and he would not stop. He's annoying. Travis, who was um, Spencer's like new, I don't know. Travis was kind of a weird character. He appeared in season five, only lasted a few episodes. 
try to get Spencer out of her comfort zone and have her vandalize like an art school or an art museum. And he was kind of annoying, especially his acting. I didn't really like him, so I think he's just, he's a, he's a annoying. He's an annoying character. All right, Grunwald, the sidekick. She was in a few seasons. She unburied Allison. I would say she's a-okay. She pulled Allie, yeah, she pulled Allie out of the grave. Right, next up is Alex Drake, who was Spencer's secret twin sister, aka AD. I would say she's... I mean, we only got to know her for like one episode, so this might be the hardest one to place. She wasn't amazing. I would think she was a-okay. She's not an abomination, even though she tried to kill Hannah. And I'm pretty sure she killed Yvonne. I would say she's annoying. Yeah, annoying. I'm gonna place her right there. She's annoying. Alright, Noel Khan, aka the bad boy of Rosewood High. He was slightly annoying. He went after the girls. He helped out Charlotte in the dollhouse. And... He murdered Sarah Harvey. Yeah, he's a annoying. Sean Ackard, Hannah's season one boyfriend. I would say he's a annoying. I didn't really like him as a character. Jessica De Laurentiis, Allison's mother. Jessica De Laurentiis is the reason why Allison was who she was, right? But I would say she's a okay. Even though she did bury Allison for the person that she was protecting, who was Cece Drake. But she did it out of love and... But I don't think she was like too annoying. So I'm gonna place her in A-OK -okay because I do like the actress. Alright, Maya St. Germain, Emily's love interest in seasons 1 and 2. I would say she's A-OK. -okay. She was slightly annoying in season 2. Hannah Marin. All right, she's the first queen to be placed in Amazing. Hannah is awesome. She's really good with the crying emotional scenes. I really do love Hannah. She's the one I, I identify with the most. All right, Yvonne, Toby's fiance in season six. I would say she's A-OK, -okay, not too annoying. Sabrina, I really liked Sabrina. She made her debut in season six, and she was in season seven. She was Emily's love interest. I would say she's amazing. I really love Sabrina. I thought she was caring and supportive, compassionate, all of those good adjectives. Yeah, she's amazing. Next up is Detective Holbrook. I would say Officer Holbrook is slightly annoying. All right, Marco Fury, he appeared in season seven as the new officer trying to uncover the death of Dr. Rollins or Archer Dunhill. He wasn't too bad. I liked him, so I'm gonna place him in A-OK. -okay. Next up is Samara, who was Emily's friend and her love interest for a little bit in season two. I would say she's A-OK. -okay. Byron Montgomery. He's very annoying, but he could be an abomination. I would say he's an abomination because he cheated on Ella with Meredith. With Meredith. So he is definitely an abomination for cheating. Holden Strauss. Arya's friend that she grew up with in school. And they were like playmates in season two. And then he came back in season seven and I actually liked his character a lot more in season seven. So I'm gonna place him in A-OK. -okay. All right, we'll continue with the right side. Talia. When Talia first appeared in season five, I actually liked her. We didn't know too much about her other than that she was Ezra's new cook. And her little interactions that she had with Emily, I did like. I really did like them because 
and I didn't know who she was or what she was trying to do with Emily. However, whenever she put her hair down, I think she became slightly annoying and she lied to Emily about being married and she was experimenting with girls. So because of that, I think I'll put her in annoying. Even though, again, I did like her for like the first two episodes that she was in. And then after that, it kind of went downhill. All right, Pam Fields, Emily's mother. At first, she was annoying, but she came around. Uh, she became accepting of Emily's sexuality. So I would say she's a-okay. Even though she sent Emily's first girlfriend to boot camp over marijuana. Oh my god, marijuana. But she turned to leave. She's a-okay right now. Mary Drake, Spencer's secret mother this whole time, throughout the whole series. I would say she's a-okay. She wasn't that bad of a character. I did like her. This new mysterious twin sister that we didn't even know of popping up, trying to take over Allison's money. She worked with one of the villains, Archer Dunhill, in order to secure Allison and Jason's money, the Kirasimi group's money. I don't know. She's kind of confusing. I think she tried after she revealed herself to be Spencer's mother. She took the fall for Archer's death. She was the one that killed Jessica. But I can't see myself placing her in a annoying or an abomination. Even though she did trick Peter into sleeping with her. Maybe she is an abomination. No, fuck it. I, I'm gonna stick her right there in A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Even though she was kind of horrible, she did some questionable things. I think A-OK -okay is fine. Dean, Spencer's sobriety coach in season four. He was okay, not too annoying. He's A-OK. -okay. Officer Garrett Reynolds, he was annoying. Even though he's kind of good looking, he's still annoying. <laughs> Claire, this is Sarah Harvey's friend that Hannah and Emily met up with in season four to get answers about who was in Allison's grave. She wasn't too annoying. She didn't try to kill anyone. She made a reappearance in season six and she didn't really bother me that much. So she's A-OK. -okay. Next up we have is Ren Kingston. One of the characters from the beginning that lasted up to the series finale, even though he did go away for a little bit. I think he is slightly annoying but he's also like a-ok -okay. i think he's borderline between annoying and a-ok -okay. he did hit on a few minors which is awful um i would say he's a-ok -okay. next up is melissa hastings spencer's big sister who's sometimes shady we always thought that she had something to do with the A game, right? I thought she had something to do with A. I thought maybe she was in on it. The NAT videos. She's not an abomination. She's not annoying. She's A-OK, -okay, yes. It's either A-OK -okay or amazing. I would say she's amazing. I did like her performance as the twisted sister. So uh, Melissa Hastings is amazing. All right, next up is Jordan, Hannah's fiance in season six. He's A-OK, -okay. not too shabby. Sarah Harvey. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. Shower Harvey. She's an abomination. We all knew where she was gonna go, right? <laughs> Fuck you for doing Emily dirty like that. And she was helping out a psychopath. <laughs> Paige McCullers. This is the character that's gonna cause a lot of uproar, I believe. I don't think Paige is an abomination or annoying. I actually do think she's A-OK. -okay. 
Yes, she was annoying in the first season as like the jealous teammate. Uh, she did not try to drown Emily. I don't believe that for a second. I believe she made a dunk like as a tease because she's the jealous teammate. Seasons 3B and the start of season four and definitely five and her return in season seven, that's when, when I started to like her as a character. I believe she had significant character development as the show went on, definitely more bearable. So she's A-OK -okay in my books. Aria Montgomery, one of the main liars. She's not amazing. I think she's just A-OK. -okay. Her storyline with Ezra is a little boring sometimes, so I'll place her in A-OK. -okay. Emily's boyfriend in season one, Ben, he's annoying. He was kind of annoying, yes. Lucas Gottesman, one of the characters that survived A's wrath. He lasted all the way up until season 7, and I think he's just A-OK. -okay. That's right, he's A-OK. -okay. He's kind of cute too, right? Caleb. Caleb is my favorite male character in the show. Caleb is also my favorite male character in the history of, of television. He's so awesome. He's the supportive boyfriend. He does whatever it takes to protect Hannah and her friends. He's very smart, he's loyal, I don't think he's ever cheated on Hannah. He's the best, he is the best character, or male character. Alright, next up is Lyndon James, or uh, Nate, Nate Germain. He's an abomination, he's Maya's killer, how could you do that to Emily? So he's definitely an abomination. Maggie. I would say Maggie's an abomination as well because she lied to Ezra about Malcolm being his son when she didn't have to. And after that, her whole storyline was kind of pointless. So she's an abomination just because of what she did to Ezra. Ezra is next. And speaking of which, Ezra. One of the main characters. I would say he's A-OK. -okay. This is another character that I think that might cause some controversy of where I place him. I know a lot of people hate him and what he did to Arya in The Liars for his whole book situation, but he's a good looking fellow and his acting was actually not that bad throughout the whole series, so he's A-OK -okay in my opinion. Alright, Meredith, as Allison says. Uh, she's annoying, slightly annoying. Even though she's really pretty to look at, <laughs> she did cause some trouble with Arya's family. So, she's annoying. All right, let's go to the left side. We have Leslie Stone, Mona's friend, season five. She tried to run over the liars in court with her testimony saying that, yeah, the liars tried to murder Mona. So she threw them under the bus, backed right over them and threw them in jail because of her testimony. So she, is annoying or would she be an abomination let's say she's an abomination actually yeah leslie stowe is abomination all right allison Dellin dellinger i think that's how her last name is pronounced dellinger or something some shit like that she's annoying She's the Allison 3.0 wannabe high school bully because we had Allison and then we had Mona who was Allison 2.0. So she's Allison 3.0. And she was definitely annoying. All right, Mike Montgomery, 
Arya's little brother. He was very annoying. I did not like Mike at all. All he did was whine and bitch, complain. He was Arya's annoying little brother, so that's where he's gonna be placed, is annoying. <laughs> all right, next up is Peter Hastings, who is Spencer's father and Melissa's father. You did very bad, awful things, Peter. Cheating on your wife, getting your mistress pregnant, and then having them live next door without your wife's knowledge and so you could see your son grow up. That is disgusting behavior. So he is annoying, even though he's very good looking. I think he's one of the best looking fathers in the show, but I have to place him in annoying because he was really awful. And this guy is awful as well, but he goes in the category below Peter, and this is Hannah's father, Tom Marin. He dumped his wife and his daughter for a new family, and that's just so fucked up. You ruined your first family so you could have a new family, and then you move your new family into your old town where your old family is at, and then you place your stepdaughter in the school where your daughter is going, and then you just don't care about anyone's feelings. So you're definitely a piece of shit, Tom Marin. You're an abomination. Next up is Mona Vanderwall. Mona, Mona, Mona. The first two seasons, I did not like Mona. I hated her character. I hated her personality. That stupid, superficial, bitchy attitude that she had. When she was revealed to be A, that annoying personality that she had was only a mask to hide the identity of the real Mona. And for that, I have to appreciate it. And so she's fucking queen. Mona is queen. She is amazing. Even when she was being the villain, there was some part of me that was rooting for her because she is just one of the best actresses in the show. How many sides of Mona has she played? She's played Crazy Mona, Allison 2.0 Mona, Nerdy Mona, Dead Mona, <laughs> Flashback Mona, and then the real Mona. So she's she has all these like sides to her and that makes her very awesome so she's amazing all right next up is Wes who is Ezra's little brother he is annoying I didn't really like him that much to be honest CC Drake aka a aka Charlotte De Laurentiis aka Charles De Laurentiis I would say she's A-OK, -okay, even though she tried to kill the liars on more than one occasion. <laughs> but her acting was very good, I thought. She's, so she's A-OK. -okay. Travis. I did like Travis. Travis was awesome. I would say he's amazing. He seemed like a sweetheart. All right, next up is Alex, who was Spencer's like love interest for a little bit in season one. I would say he's A-OK. -okay. Not as good as Travis, but just OK. All right, so the right side is Lorenzo, the new officer at the RPD. He is, um, I don't know. He's like, in between. He's like right here. He's right here. I would say though he is I mean he lasted only one season. He wasn't an abomination and he wasn't amazing. I mean he was a-okay right? He was just okay. I would, I would say he's just a-okay. I don't really remember him being that annoying. All right, next up is Ella Montgomery, Arya's mother. Piper Hallowell. <laughs> she's the reason why I kind of started the show because she's in Charmed and I love Charmed. And there were times where I was like, Piper, just fucking use your powers to find out who A is. I think she's one of the better parents. She has a few heart-to-hearts with Arya, and those are one of the best scenes, her little conversations with Arya. I would say she's amazing. Yes. 
amazing. All right, next up is Spencer Hastings, one of my favorite characters ever. She's amazing. She's one of the best actors in the show. She really does put on a performance. She's the best. She's amazing. Dr. Ann Sullivan, the therapist for The Liars in season two. I would say she's A-OK. -okay. She wasn't that bad. Ted. Ted is the pastor. Made an, made an appearance in season three and lasted all the way up into season seven. He is Cece's father, that's right. Can't forget that big piece of information. I didn't think he was that annoying. I think he was sweet. He loved Ashley, so he's A-OK. -okay. All right, next up is Zach, the owner of the brew in season three, and he might be a predator, definitely a cheater, so he's annoying. All right, Officer Barry. I liked Officer Barry. He is A-OK -okay in my book. Jenna Marshall. Jenna the villain the blind villain she has every right to be the villain she was slightly annoying in some of the seasons she's just a-okay -okay. her character got a little better as the show went on i think shauna shauna is jenna's girlfriend allison's childhood friend but she was annoying she really was but not like awful <laughs> Kenneth De Laurentiis, Jason and Allison's father, or Allison's father, because Peter is Jason's father. Um, I guess according to Marlene, he is like the real villain in the show. He wasn't accepting of Cece's or Charles's transition into Cece. So I guess that makes him like the ultimate villain. And he didn't even visit Charles after he placed him into Radley. Not even once, according to Cece's statement. So for that, he's an abomination. He just left his own child. Well, it actually wasn't his child, was it? So maybe he had the right to, I don't know. I mean, that's just awful though. Actually, I'm going to place him in Annoying. Yeah. I'm going to retract my ranking and place him in Annoying. <laughs> because he did try to help Allison a little bit right after she returned in Season 5. And he's good looking. <laughs> Alright, next up is Sydney Driscoll. I did like Sydney. She is A-OK. -okay. She was um, the new classmate in season five. She seemed shady, but I think she just wanted like the gossip that was going around. She wanted to be in the know. She wanted to know the drama. But she didn't cause that much drama, did she? She didn't cause that much drama until she returned in like season seven when she was helping Jenna out. But she wasn't too awful. She didn't kill anyone. All right, Lieutenant Tanner. I like Tanner. She was one of the most competent officers in town. Even though she was um, skeptical about the liars and their roles and what was going on around town and the murders, she was trying to get to the bottom of it and she was on their backs. She was on their fucking backs. And for that, I have to respect her because she didn't let her feelings towards the liar get in the way of her investigation, like most of the male characters in the show. So she, I think, worked by the book, and so she is A-OK. -okay. All right, next up is Grandma Marin, Regina Marin, Tom's mother, Hannah's grandmother. I liked Regina, even though she was in like two episodes, I really loved her heartwarming presence. Yes, so she is amazing. And she has some funny lines too. In just the short amount of time that she has, 
I gotta wipe the dew from my lily. <laughs> what? All right, next up is Andrew Campbell. I would say he's a okay. Mrs. Horowitz, one of Rosewood High's teachers. I'd say she's a okay as well. Even though her role wasn't too spectacular and big, she wasn't annoying. So I'm gonna place her in A-OK. -okay. All right, next up is Isabella, or Isabella. I'd say she's annoying with her daughter, Kate, just because of all the family drama. Screw you, Kate. And Isabella, and Tom. <laughs> all right, Wayne Fields. He is one of the best parents. Him and one other character, are the best parents in the entire show. He was very supportive of Emily, um, and it was really sad to see him die. I mean, we didn't see him die, but it was sad knowing that he died after the time jump, and that really hurt my heart because Wayne Fields is one of the best. He is one of the best parents in the entire show. So he is amazing. Elliot Rollins. He is a abomination. He tried to take Allie and Jason's money. He tricked Allison, who was his wife, into thinking that she was crazy and mentally unstable and filled with guilt. And so by getting her to check into a mental hospital, and then he did some awful things to her in there. And so he's definitely a abomination, not a good guy and he got what he deserved. All right, next up is Veronica Hastings, the mother of Melissa Hastings and Spencer's adoptive mother. She's A-OK, -okay. not too horrible. She was kind of stern because she's a lawyer, which was slightly annoying. And I don't think she fully loved Spencer as much as Melissa. Like she was kind of harsh towards Spencer and it, it might've been because Spencer isn't her real biological offspring. I mean, she, it always seemed like she treated Melissa differently compared to Spencer. And I think that's why. But she still wasn't that bad of a mother and a character, so she's A-OK. -okay. All right, next up is Jackie, Melina. She's annoying very annoying to Ian Thomas. He was the villain in season one and I actually liked him. He played the villain good. His acting was really good. I liked it. So he's A-OK. -okay. Even though he tried to kill Spencer. <laughs> Allison De Laurentiis. I would say Allison is A-OK. -okay. I loved flashback Allison the most because I feel like that was her strongest performance. Her strongest qualities in the show was her bitchy attitude. I think season six and season seven, that's when her character kind of took a nosedive. So if it wasn't for season six and seven, I would place her in amazing, but because of those two seasons, I'm gonna place her in A-OK. -okay. However, flashback Allison that's different. I would place Flashback Allison in Amazing in a heartbeat. <laughs> because Sasha played that fierce little bitch to perfection. It was awesome. Toby. I think Toby is annoying. Definitely annoying. I think he's one of the weakest actors in the show. He is kind of cute though. He is kind of cute, I will say that. But his good looks aren't enough to save his ass to be in the upper categories. All right, next up is Ashley Marin, who is Hannah's mother, and she is one of the best parents in the entire show. She is very supportive, very protective, very loving. She took in Caleb, she took in Emily, and she took in Allison when she didn't have to. She cared for three other characters because that's that's who she is. For that, she is amazing. I think her and Wayne are like the two 
the two of the strongest parents. All right, next up is Jake. I didn't like Jake all that much. I think he was very annoying. He was very jealous. He was very jealous and he clinged onto Arya way too fast. Some of the interactions that they had together made me cringe inside because I'm like, dude, you just met her. I don't know. I didn't like him that much. And last but not least is Colin. He appeared in season five for a few episodes. Um, I would say he's slightly annoying. He wasn't like awful. So that's where I would place him. Thought it was over, huh? All right, so I found six other characters to add to the ranking. These are characters that I had completely forgotten about. Nicole started her storyline in season six. She worked with Emily and then her and Ezra clicked. But her storyline in season seven was kind of dull, especially the last half, 7B. She was revealed to be alive after her disappearance in the jungle. But I don't know, her storyline was just boring with her and Ezra and Arya. I don't know, it was just kind of a mess. So I'm gonna place Nicole in, I don't know, she was kind of sweet though. I would say she's A-OK. -okay. I was kind of harsh, <laughs> but I think she was just all right. Next up is Eddie Lamb. He started off in season three, lasted until season five. I think most fans thought maybe he was in the barrel after Mona's death, but I liked Eddie, so I think he is amazing. All right, next up is Jillian. He was Arya's, Ezra's, and Liam's boss during season six and seven, and she was also the detective in The Perfectionist. She was just okay. She was A-OK, -okay, although her character in The Perfectionist was just a tad annoying. Next up is Reese Matthews. I think that's his last name. His name is Reese. He kind of looks like Jason. He was only in a few episodes of season six. Um, he wasn't too annoying. All right, so on this right side, we have for shits and giggles. <laughs> Bridget Wu isn't really a character in the show. We've only seen her in one episode for like five seconds when she was interacting with Caleb or when Hannah introduced her to Caleb in season one so he could get money. Um, but after that, her name was kind of like a running gag throughout the show. We would hear her name pop up, but we wouldn't see her. We would just hear things that had happened to her. But that one little interaction that she had with Caleb, I'm gonna place her in A Nguyen. But I did kind of like the joke of her like just being popped up in conversation every now and then. All right, and so the last character is A himself or herself, because all the A's were female, but okay, so A, the persona, of A, the figure of A itself. A was kind of an awesome character. I did like A, I think. A could have been like TV's most fascinating villain or TV's best villain, but there were some things that were holding A back. Some of the threats in like the earlier seasons were kind of lame and cringy, but when Cece took over Mona and Alex Drake, when those two took over the game, I think A's threats were a lot better and scarier and dangerous. But I'm gonna have to place A in just A-OK, -okay, even though I really did like A as a villain. All right, so with all that said and done, here is my final results for my Pretty Little Liars character ranking. What do you think? How different is it compared to yours? I'm sure it's a lot different compared to like most others. I could see a lot of these characters being placed in the abomination category. But I had a great time making this video. It took me a long, long time researching the names, cropping the photos, resizing them. Oh God, it was a mess, but I had fun making it. And I hope you had fun watching this video. I'm hoping to do more content like this in the future. I found a lot of enjoyment in it, and I'm already thinking of topics to do for like TV shows and movies, so those might be coming eventually. 
like Chucky's best deaths, Jason Voorhees' best deaths in Friday the 13th, or something like that, you know. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a like if you did. Let me know in the comments what you would change. I know you will probably change something. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you think. And I will see you soon for another video. And take care. Thanks for watching.